Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 28. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, it is a new day, and today what we're going to be doing, we're taking this well fireball i think that's how you say it it's american so they're funny with their words um and what we're gonna do we're doing championship number 14 now uh this is the master of eagles guessing it's called eagles because of america that's actually pretty clever uh and this is a three event championship uh so we've got three laps of infinian three laps of laguna seca and then three laps of this track let's go right so here we go welcome back to the infinian raceway we're gonna get straight on with it this is gonna be awesome though nice nice good start so far we haven't fallen off of the bike on that first corner so that is decent one thing I didn't realise, right, I was, um, obviously I've been playing a lot of Forza Motorsport lately, uh, off camera, just because, bored. Um, and also sort of like planning that mega series I was on about. Oh, get back on the track. There we go. Nice. Um, but one thing I didn't notice is this track actually, they changed the name of it. It's not actually called the Infinium Raceway anymore. They changed it. It's called something. It starts with S. It's like Sedona. Sonoda or something. Something like that. It starts with an S. But they renamed this track. I just feel betrayed. Infineon sounded so much cooler. go nice okay let's see if we can get another overtake we have there we go nice let's go around this corner perfect I still can't believe we're already up to episode 28 of this series and I've been recording it for about a week now that is just insane. Nice. That was a good overtake there. I should hopefully have this uh, series finished within the next three or four days. Hopefully. Because uh, once it is done, I can take a break for a while. I'll be on holiday, probably, in two weeks. So, Awesome. Nice, nice. Coming up to Chicane. Very well so far. Oh, nearly falling off the bike there. Going too slow. Nice. Obviously, this track is sort of used by everything from road racing to uh, IndyCar to bike racing to NASCAR. This track is like, and it's one of those tracks that doesn't, oh, and drag racing, don't forget that. It's got a drag strip in the middle. But uh, it's one of those tracks that doesn't make sense in a way. It's got so much for it. 
You then think you've got tracks like Silverstone, which is you only really see in um, what's it called Formula One. I haven't seen anyone go to Silverstone for any other reason. There's nothing else on TV. Go into Silverstone. <laughs> That was decent. That was a decent corner. We've got such a large lead right now. Awesome. Nice. Back up to Chicane again. I was driving around this track though on Forza Motorsport 7, driving an Indy car. It was the worst race I've ever done. I came eighth place out of 24, but because it was a championship, I couldn't really restart it as of such. I mean, you can, but I couldn't be bothered. But there we go. Infineon Raceway, done. With a 145.009 final lap there. Awesome. 515.7. Very good. Buell Firebolt. Racing Modify. Nice. And here we go. We got ourselves a bike. The Honda CBR 954 Fireblade. From 2002. Awesome. There we go, we got ourselves a nice Honda bike. Nice Honda race bike. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna be the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Let's do this. Right, here we go. Welcome back to the Laguna Seca Raceway. We've got ourselves three laps here. Now this is our danger course, the bogey track. The track that always goes wrong no matter how hard we try. So we are oh, already having problems with the bike. So uh, we are going to try. Obviously, we need to get gold for this. We need to get first. It's not a championship thing. So to earn the bikes at the end, we need gold because they're individual events. Um, but yes, obviously aiming to get that good position. But we're worried. I'm definitely worried about the corkscrew. Alright, that was a good pass there. Very nice pass. Awesome. Do, 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 do. We're going to start breaking early here. Oh, we've gone very... That was close. We went very wide there. Uh, but we have caught up about one and a half positions. So... I'm guessing by the end of next lap, we'll probably be in that first place position. Oh, that was a good rescue. If we had have fallen over, that would have been probably the race over. Awesome. Let's get that overtaken now. See if we can catch up with the other bike. As we go past the Bridgestone Bridge, we got ourselves a 3.4 second gap. I think there's another time marker here as well. No. It might be up here at this bridge is the next time marker. Yeah, it is. 1.6 seconds. So we've gone from 3.4 to 1.6, which is a 1.8 second gain. Breaking earlier. Perfect. Oh, that was horrendous. That was a massive corner cut. Wow. D 
did not expect that to work, but it did. Awesome. Perfect. Very nice. And onto the brakes. Can we do it? Or overshot the corner a little bit. Probably going to get a bike coming on our inside or attempting to. Uh, not quite. Very good. Awesome. Nice. There we go. Break a little bit early here again. Make sure we can get round here. Perfect. Nice. Awesome. And here we go across the finish line. With a 1 minute 33.371, the fastest lap on the final lap. That took 4 minutes 43 seconds to do that race. Very good. Very good. Let's go to the... Wow. Quit. See what bike we got. Hopefully something really awesome. And by the looks of it, it is going to be... A bike, of course. It's going to be a Honda CB750F Racing Modify. Uh. 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 I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Looks horrible. Uh. I don't like that style of bike. I really don't. Uh, so we've done Infinium Raceway now. We've done Mazda Laguna Seca. We're going to move on to the Ricardo Tomo Circuit of Valencia. We'll call it the Circuit of Valencia then. That's better. So let's go to the Circuit of Valencia. Right, here we go. We are at the Circuit of Valencia. Let's just get straight into it. Obviously, this video is going to be quite short. Uh, I think the next one is as well, because these are two quite short championships. Um, but they're too long to mix into two videos, because I don't want it to go too long. Plus, I need these sort of like 6 o'clock videos to be shorter. So, yeah. This is going to be a little bit shorter, but it should be okay. Very nice. Oh! Not very nice. That was horrific. But we still got a bonus out of that because we didn't have to restart from the very, very start. So I'll take it. Right, just got to try and overtake this bike, which we have done very nicely. Awesome. That was a perfect corner there. Awesome. Let's get this sweeping corner into the 
breaking zone for the final corner. And, oh, that was close. Got a very good exit out of there, though, so we managed to gain the position. Slam onto the brakes now. Awesome. Onto the brakes again. Nice. Obviously, we got the uh, new sort of rider gear is now blue compared to the last few episodes, which has been green because um, we did change it at the end of the last episode. I quite like the look of the blue colour, to be honest. I really do like it. I think it was a good choice. That is perfect. That was horrendous. I didn't press the uh, square button hard enough. Again, forgot these were analog buttons. Breaking way too early for that. We need to get this win though. I think we're about two and a half seconds behind, maybe. 1.5, okay, that's enough that we could gain it back. Awesome. Nice, 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 going through there. Brilliant. Nice. This is going to be a good lap. This is going to beat my fastest lap easily. Right, we just got to make sure we don't overshoot this corner now, the uh, next one. Not this one, not this one, but the other one. Awesome. Perfect. And doing a final victory wheelie for the end of the championship. It's not even a championship, it's just a single event. That voice break though. Oh my god, that was horrific. That was horrific. Wow. Are you going to skip? No? There we go. I forgot it's not X button, is it? Brilliant. Well, there we go. 5 minutes 20 for that. That's decent. And here we go. We got ourselves a Kawasaki Zephyr 1100 Racing Modify. Please say it's a good looking one. It's horrendous. I hate the look of that. That's just like engine and front spokes. I want bodywork on it. A bike needs bodywork. It looks horrific. Uh, I don't like it. Great. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not like I've got a choice, really. Uh, right. So next up is going to be the K1200R Cup. Stay tuned for that. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.